The animation begins with two adventurous rabbits named Lappin and his brother. At that time, they stumbled upon a mysterious shrine in the middle of nowhere while exploring. The shrine supposedly contained an artifact of a dark hamster, but it was all just a trap. However, their journey was not entirely fruitless as they discovered a unique baby rabbit with chicken legs, whom they affectionately named Chicken Hair. Start from that day, Lappin raised Chicken Hair and taught him everything he knew about adventuring. So, Chicken Hair was passionate about following in his father's footsteps, and he studied hard to become a skilled adventurer. However, despite his royal lineage, Chicken Hair faced constant ridicule and belittlement from others who mocked his unusual appearance. Determined to hide his chicken legs, he resorted to using prosthetic limbs and covering up with clothing. Check out what I can do in my new boots! <laughs> I'm okay! Years later, the Royal Adventure Society held a trial event, and Chicken Hair participated along with other hopefuls. Ah, that's just slowing me down. Although his attempts to appear normal hindered him, he managed to make it through the obstacles until the final challenge. This final task involved crossing a bridge over a seemingly infinite hole, but unfortunately, Chicken Hair failed to succeed and was unable to become a Royal Adventurer. After failing to become a royal adventurer, Chicken Hare was taunted by the other participants, but his father remained proud of him and cherished him as his greatest treasure. Inspired by his father's words, Chicken Hare hatched a crazy plan to find the Hamster of Darkness artifact. He sought guidance from his nanny, Abe, and visited his uncle Lappin, who had experience as an adventurer. However, Lappin was imprisoned underground for his attempt to overthrow the throne of his brother, the current king. Despite Chicken Hare's intentions of seeking a guidebook, the visit proved to be unfruitful. and Lappin's escape from prison with the help of a chicken feather on Chicken Hare's head only added to the chaos. Soon after, Lappin rallied other prisoners to his cause, and together they aimed to find the Hamster of Darkness artifact to overthrow the king. Based on the map, Chicken Hare deduced that Lappin's plan would lead them to the tomb of an alien turtle. However, Chicken Hare was not allowed to join the search for Lappin with his father because of his mistake. However, this turned out to be a lucky break for him because he found a clue behind the books in Lappin's cell. The clue was a map and a cloth filled with hamster constellations, which Lappin had intentionally left behind. This gave Chicken Hare and Abe the idea to find the Hamster of Darkness artifact before Lappin does and stop him from overthrowing his father's throne. Unbeknownst to them, Lappin's follower named Barry was watching them and reported their plans to Lappin. Despite this, Chicken Hare, Abe, set out on their journey to find the artifact. On their first stop, they encountered Rusty and Luther, Lappin's men who were sent to retrieve the map and stop Chicken Hare's journey. However, Meg came to their rescue and defeated them with ease. What a blast! Continuing their journey, they crossed the Desert of Death with Meg as their guide. At that it meet, she was willing to help them for free because finding the Hamster of Darkness artifact was her childhood dream. However, Lappin was still watching them from a short distance away through Barry's reports. Eventually, he destroyed the quicksand bridge to hold the trio and stop them from reaching their goal. Shortly after, when the Chicken Hare group arrived at the bridge that had been destroyed, they felt a bit confused because the quicksand surrounding it was extremely dangerous. They could either turn back and find another way, which would take them three whole days, or they could risk it and cross the quicksand to continue on their journey. After discussing it, Chicken Hare bravely decided to push forward and cross the quicksand, with Meg's guidance, because she assured them that there were only a few dangerous spots. However, as they were making their way through the quicksand, Chicken Hare accidentally stepped into a dangerous spot and started sinking. At that time, Abe and Meg didn't hesitate to try and save him from the quicksand's deadly grasp. Even though he had kept his unique identity as a rabbit with chicken features a secret, Meg didn't judge or laugh at him. Instead, she was amazed at the sight of such a fascinating creature. As they continued their journey through the bamboo forest, they were unaware that someone was secretly following them. Suddenly, they were drugged and captured by some mysterious figures disguised as Bamboo who was the Pygmy Pigs. These cunning pygmies planned to sacrifice the group to their volcano gods as a sign of respect and tribute. Fortunately, Meg was able to revive Chicken Hair and put the pygmies to sleep by sharing her life story with them. Then, by taking advantage of the opportunity, they quickly escaped from the pygmies' lair. 
However, Chicken Hare had left his hat and jacket behind and tried to retrieve them in the middle of the night, which woke up the pygmies. Soon after, while Meg and Abe managed to flee using their trusty weapons, Chicken Hare found himself surrounded by the pygmies, fighting off their relentless attacks. Fortunately, they managed to outsmart the pygmies by jumping into a nearby well and following the path to the mountain, where they hoped to find the hamster of darkness before their rival, Lapin, could get to it. However, Barry returned with news that Lapin had already made it to the mountain first and that the chicken hair group would not be able to overtake them because of an impossible path ahead. Undeterred, Lapin blew up the mountain, causing an avalanche, but ended up getting themselves into trouble. After that, they continued on their journey, entering an ice crevice and passing through three deadly traps. The first trap was a narrow gap filled with spiked iron. But luckily Chicken Hare had read enough books to know how to navigate each of these traps and make it through safely. Afterward, the next step was to enter a small gap and replicate what the statue had demonstrated. It was a long and challenging journey, but Chicken Hare eventually found the Hamster of Darkness artifact. However, Lapin and his gang caught up with them soon after, and Lapin used the opportunity to capture Meg and Abe while Barry snatched the bat from Chicken Hare. After that, Lapin took control of the situation by using a stick and animating the hamster spirits inside it. He then abandoned Chicken Hare and the others in an ice gorge, while the king returned to his country empty-handed. It turned out that the entire quest was just a diversion to distract the kingdom from going after Lapin. Meg once again encouraged Chicken Hare to think creatively and come up with a solution. This inspired Chicken Hare to use his unique abilities, particularly his agile chicken legs, to get them out of trouble. He realized that his differences could actually help others and himself during tough times. Shortly after, as they left the cave, Abe shared his own disadvantage that he was being born without a shell, which was a huge disgrace for a turtle. But they found that their weaknesses could actually be turned into strengths, as they used their fake shells to slide down the mountain. Meanwhile, Lapin had made his way to the royal bridge to meet his sister. With the power of the hamster stick, he raised an army of hamsters and attacked the entire kingdom. Although Lapin had already taken control of the kingdom and captured the king and his bodyguards, Chicken Hare, Meg, and Abe arrived just in time to join the fight. With the help of two animals named Lance and Stanley, Chicken Hare managed to retrieve the hamster stick and fight off the swarm of hamsters. They even used a decoy to outsmart the hamsters. However, some of the hamsters managed to escape, while others were defeated by Chicken Hare and the gang. As the king and his bodyguards came to their aid, Chicken Hare devised a plan to defeat Lapin. There, he led the hamsters into a bottomless pit by throwing artifacts and setting fire to the protective net. Finally, they were able to defeat Lapin and save the kingdom from his tyranny. In the end, the infinite loop caused the destruction of the Hamster of Darkness artifact and eradicated all hamster spirits from the kingdom. Through their journey, Chicken Hare and his companions were able to discover their true identities and embrace their unique qualities. After that, Lapin's former subordinates were all sent back to prison. The animation ends on a happy ending, with the people of the kingdom once again being led by their king. Meanwhile, Chicken Hare, Meg, and Abe set off on their own adventure, excited for what the future holds. The animation ends. The moral lesson of this animation could be that sometimes it's better to just be yourself, even if you have chicken legs. Trying to cover up who you are or pretending to be someone else can be exhausting and may not lead to success in the end. Also, don't trust pygmy pigs disguised as bamboo, and always remember to bring your own weapons when going on an adventure.